Hey everyone, welcome to another class with Cherry Top Crafts. I'm Rachel. And I'm Jessica, and today we will be unboxing the December Cherry Box. Yes. This is so fun. This is it. our Christmas themed cherry box, uh, so a lot of holiday goodies in here. Um, great for all your paper crafting of projects. holiday projects. Yeah. Yes, yes. If you want to be surprised, this is not the video for you. No. Look away. Yep. <laughs> but I know a lot of you do like to see what's in the mm -hmm. month's box. So mm -hmm. we are going to go through everything that's included, and then we're going to make a couple things too. Yes. So, so let's, let's, open let's get it up. going. So when you first open it up, I see right away this album. So each box will get an album. You'll either get this design. Or, or this, this red snowflake design. They're both so both cute. So acute. Both um they're six by eight album. They're just really nice. Really yeah, nice I album. Like so and then of course we have a bunch of other things that you can fill the album with. Um so yeah. <laughs> so the next thing you see in the box is this uh the crafters workshop light and fluffy modeling paste. This makes a really nice, um, like, light, snowy texture. Mm -hmm. uh, so it works great with stencils. I'll probably be using it with a snowflake stencil. Mm -hmm. um, but you can also mix other things in, like glitter. Uh, you can pile it up in different places to look like snow mounds. There's a lot yeah, you can do with that. to do with that. Yeah, it's been so, really fun to play with today. Yeah. And we have some things to mix into it, if you mm -hmm. want. So... We have glitter because, you know, everyone needs glitter. <laughs> yeah, and the glitter will come in a range of colors, so you could get, um, but any of them would be like a uh, Christmassy theme, so you mm -hmm. could get even like a red, green, there's silver, gold. Um, so pretty. Yeah, so you'll get a jar of glitter. And so this is really great to mix in with your um, light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. And then... A distress mica spray. And that you'll also get one of these three colors. Mm -hmm. So the brushed pewter, antiqued bronze, or tarnished brass. They're all very pretty. Yeah. Um all and they give yeah. like a little shimmer. Yeah, so it adds that little bit of bling to your pages. Mm -hmm. It's not an overwhelming around amount. It's it, they're really pretty spray. Yeah. Don't expect it to be like like a stain spray yeah. you know that's super powerful and inky it's i don't know it's more subtle yeah i like it yeah. i really like these next <clears throat> got it all packaged up here <laughs> ready to send so we have some ribbon glitter tape um i've been using this a lot and i really like it mm -hmm. um it's very glittery but it's not the glitter that comes off on your fingers and sp spreads around clean glitter it's a clean strip of glitter love it really nice so if you hate the glitter mess this is that is for perfect you. we have some red snowflake washi tape so that'll go well with you know the album i thought especially if you get the um the red oh yeah album, it totally matches they match like perfectly cute so cute then of course for your album you need inserts mm -hmm. so here are some full page six by eight inserts um, and we also have some chipboard phrases just some fun holiday phrases mm -hmm. i really like this one I yeah. like the wreath and the mary so cute. And then this Together for Christmas project pad. I was also pretty excited about this one. It's a good show a little flip through, but um, here, this yeah, you have some more of your pages. Um, you have a, sheet of stickers. a whole sticker sheet with like foiled stickers. And then some alpha stickers. That's our friend. And then you have a few specialty pages like, uh, with foil. So this one has the foil designs. And I also really like these. They're glitter pages. Glitter. And again, it's the glitter that doesn't come off on your fingers. So, Very important. Yes. <laughs> Even though we include glitter that does do that. But small amounts is okay. Yeah. So we'll just 
And Put then you get some patterned plaid, pages. Like a plaid. Florals. And I think this pad matches really well with both of the albums, too. Mm -hmm. So solids very important this isn't yeah. all of them either i actually already tore a few out yeah so it's we're mi missing a few it's a total of uh 24 sheets in here one of my Thank favorites you. this is the one that i already tore out the wood yeah it's on the back here this is this is all of them the stripe oh and there's oh, also the um like oh, yeah. a tag uh tag and cut apart page yes. i already cut this which apart. is also foiled um, and then, yeah, look at all these pretty colors of cardstock. Just, yeah, just regular salads. That yeah. It's all in one. I love that. Yep. Don't yeah. have to spend that's... your time trying to find coordinating cardstock. It's just right there. Yeah, so that's our December box. Make sure you subscribe soon if you want to receive this box. Um, I think it's a really good one. Yeah, I really like it. And, yeah, it's I always love our Christmas ones. I, I don't know. know why. They're just they're they're just so fun. Yeah. I try extra hard with December. Yeah. Because I don't know. It's just fun. It's just fun. Getting in the Christmas Joyful. spirit and all that. Yeah. Um so I already made so you have you'll have all of these pages, your inserts, which mm -hmm. you can add on in here. Um, and then fill with like pages like this. But then I also, um, I love that one. Yeah, this one's like, you can also add in your own pages too. So that's, that's like what this is. And um, I actually have a blog post on the Cherry blog showing how to make all of these type of pages. So make sure to check that out. So some pocket pages, pocket from the side. So there's a lot that you can do with you it. Do, yeah. Don't feel like you're limited to just Flip those. Flip out pages. Those pages. Yeah. That, that are included. Yep. And you can also put stuff on top of the page, too. Mm -hmm. um, we've done that before in a lot of our classes. You can put your paper in and photos, and then maybe you don't want to put stuff directly in your photo. Mm -hmm. Put it on the outside. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I like including, like, a couple whole page photos. Mm -hmm. That's really fun. And too. then maybe all you need is, like, a phrase on top of it or something. But you don't really yeah. want to put that phrase right on your photo. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, put it on the protective sheet. Yes. Um, there are additional inserts that you can buy for this type of album. Um, and there's, like, the different uh, slits. So, like, you can buy, like, a couple half pages where mm -hmm. there's the perforation in the middle. So you can check those out as well. <clears throat> but it comes with ten of these pages. Mm -hmm. So, I know I wanted to work with a stencil yeah. and the, the butter. No, what is it called? Oh, the light and the fluffy. The light and fluffy. Light and fluffy. Where is our light and fluffy? Oh, it's right here. Yes. Yes, yeah, our light and fluffy. So I was going to start with that. Um, got my photos. Let's see. Oh, I knew I was going to want the wood for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually going to make kind of like um, a double page spread in here with my photos. And probably these, these two, I'm thinking. I also love the stripes. Mm -hmm. And really, you can make this as fancy or as simple as you want. Um, but those mica sprays, we were testing them out on different papers and everything, and they look really, really nice. Actually, I wonder if there's some color left on this. Well, I'm okay if I get a little blue on this, I yeah. guess. Because this stencil's been through a lot. I've been through a lot. <laughs> But, yeah, you yeah. can just take a palette knife and run it over your stencil. I'm going to use the um, antique, antique bronze. But really, any of these colors would work with any of these papers. Mm -hmm. um, so with mica spray, make sure you are shaking it a lot. Yeah, because all of the little um, mica just sinks to the bottom. So when you're first using it after a little bit... It needs a good shake, and then I shake it a little bit before you use it each time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna get like some scrap paper to kind of 
help my spray. <laughs> um, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do it. I think maybe kind of on like one edge of one corner, kind of going over, like spray that way maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just gonna kind of see what happens. Yeah, see where the spray takes me. See where you. the spray takes me. Yes. And when you're putting on this um, light and fluffy, you can put it on super thick or you can make it thinner like the height of the stencil. So it's really, really depends on how you apply it. Mm -hmm. um, I'm applying it a little bit thicker than the stencil, but not a ton. Okay, so I got a nice good spray here on the side. I'm kind of just wiggling it around a little bit, get some of those drips. And I like how that looks. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's pretty. If you um look closely, you can see all that little mica. It's just like glistening. <laughs> it's like it's just saying Christmas. <laughs> so Love it. You can, let's see if you can see maybe on the angle a little bit. But it it looks perfect. That's perfect. perfect. Ooh, yeah, the snowflakes. I did that. get a little bit of blue transferring. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. Did it well. We have orange in our light. And yeah, too, I I was trying to pick out most of it. I think I got it all, but I don't know where the orange came from. Oh, who knows? Yeah, who knows with us? Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the same thing on this paper, but the opposite side, so that when I um look when I'm looking at my on two page spread here it's it's just like a weird i was thinking about using a different color but actually i think i just like this color. Yeah, yeah i'm gonna do this for both it should look fine and um you could wait for your first page to dry a bit before adding the stencil back on and doing the mm -hmm. like because i have to do it in two steps but I figure if it gets a little messed up there, that's where my photo can go. Yeah. <laughs> Always place your photo there or embellishments or whatever. Yeah. This actually dries pretty quick. This is almost dry. Nice. Look at that shimmer. See that? So pretty. Yeah, I thought I would have to use the dryer on this, but I may mm -hmm. not have to. Because it might just let it sit while mm -hmm. I um, get my things ready. I also love that it's not super messy. Like, if you're getting it on your hands, it's not like, you know, distress stain that gets oh, everywhere. Oh, stains. Yeah. This, which, you know, we have experience with that. Our hair is always messy. Yeah. But, um, yeah, this is just kind of lighter. But I like it. I just keep spraying. It's hard to stop. I just want to spray everything. Okay. Mica everything. Well, now that we don't have any orange in the light and fluffy. Well, now we have blue. Now we have the little blue. Uh, okay. You should always make sure you're cleaning off your palette knives before dipping it back in. Not like yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you just are Unless too you busy. Or don't don't mind the little bit of color transfer. Yeah. Okay. So... My photos, I don't know if I want to um, mat them or not. I guess the water. So there's that. I'm going to set this one aside. Yeah. I think that looks pretty nice. I've got, um, yeah. or actually, no, I want to add a little glitter. No. No, I'm not <laughs> setting it aside. Yet. Little no. glitter. Glitter. Get some um, glitter in there. Let's see. I can mm -hmm. either use white or silver. Maybe I'll go for silver. Um, because this is still wet. So I'm just going to put some glitter. Oh, yeah. Perfect time to glitter around it. And I'm just going to kind of see how it works. Because I don't want it like full glitter page. Um, just a little bit here and there. Right? I like that. Just a little bit. Just a little mm -hmm. bit here and there. Mm -hmm. Whoop, or a lot right or there. Or a lot. Right there gets a lot. <laughs> That's fine too. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I'll just use like like a strip of this paper. I don't know. I like to do strips of paper a lot of times. Just kind of tear 
It's a little hard bit to off. stop. It is. <laughs> it's hard to stop. It's just so glitter. pretty. So pretty. I'm just gonna use finger to just lightly yeah. sprinkle on some places. Okay, I should probably get my photos together. These are just photos of us through the years by our Christmas tree. We I just take a Christmas that. tree selfie. I almost could just like put it in the middle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. To kind of break that up a little bit. I don't know. Let's see. So I have my sparkly snowflake sheet. And then I also wanted one for this picture. So I'm thinking more of like patterned paper. You can see I've, mm. I've already I've already gotten going with this. <laughs> oh, I also have the Ooh, maybe I'll use the glitter page. Oh, oh I, I love forgot. it. I love it. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna need a piece of that too. Let's see. Red? That red might be too much. I really I like, like the white. The white, the white yeah. is nice. Okay. Is that what I want to use? Or maybe this one's really nice too. Mm -hmm. I know. I'll about that there's too. there's a lot of really nice ones in here. Now, do I have enough room to mat all these? Maybe if I, um, just a very skinny mat, and then I could overlap them a tiny bit, too. I think I'm just going to use this one. Which one? Oh, okay. Your nice stripes. I'm going to use glitter. Glitter with no mess. And, uh, I've been cutting these like eight and a half inches uh just because the um the pages are a little taller so I'll cut them eight and a half by a little like six and one eighth mm. wide mm -hmm. um okay so i'm using the ter terra verde terra Terra Verde stencil where's butter. Her, where's your heart? Um, this is also from the Crafters Workshop. I really do like their stencil butters. They're or like so they're um, like in the box we have the light and fluffy. But I'm going to add a few Christmas trees on like the bottom edge of this page. And I'm just doing it the same way that I applied the um, light and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Just palette knife. Just palette knife. That's great. Not super thick, but little thick. <laughs> little thick. I like it a little, little. thicker than the stencil. Mm -hmm. just so, so it you have that really dimension. shows up yeah. and has yeah has the dimension. Mm -hmm. Um, but not crazy thick. Pass me the cherry tape. Okay. One sec. This glue doesn't work. With this paper. Um, um, I kind of don't know if cherry tape will burn. I mean, try it. Maybe like you need the foam. Cherry foam. No, I don't know. Like, I mean, I think eventually it will dry, but... Ugh. I'm, like, spending that... a lot of time here. The one that doesn't hold... Wait, what? Oh, I can't use that. This one, this, this, oh, is that? No. Okay. So, there's one. Ooh. Okay. And then maybe I'll do one small one. Ooh, but I don't. Eh. Mm. I want to dry it a oh, little bit. I love it. Right. That is the perfect Christmas green. Yep. And then one more little one. I don't really want to mush this, which is why I'm drying it. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you're using these pastes, um, if you're drying it and you're holding the the heater too close to it or too long, it'll bubble. Mm -hmm. But you can sometimes use that to your advantage, too. Sure. Like if you want something a little more bubbly. I don't mm -hmm. really want this tree bubbly, so. Why not? I'm you don't want careful. a bubbly tree? <laughs> 
think it's fun like on words maybe mm -hmm. or some types of flowers like yeah. center of the flower oh, if that yeah. gets bubbly i'm good with that i'm just drying this enough where i can put the stencil on top of it and it not super smush yeah i am just matting all my photos with that glitter paper and that's all i've been doing here <laughs> I really like how it pops. I like to keep these pages kind of simple. Yeah. Um, I think this would also be a good album if you do like December Daily or mm -hmm. um, yeah, just trying to remember bits and pieces. Or I was also thinking it'd be a really cool um, recipe album. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. Um, I want to include a few recipes in mine, mm -hmm. like Christmas tradition recipes. Uh, yeah, I think that just gonna be cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put the other tree right there. Trucks are so loud. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. Oh, I do like the little one. Sure. Yes, that's cute. Yeah, this is a uh, Tim Holtz layering stencil. So yeah, some nice for it. Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. I feel like you can never have too many like snowflake stencils or trees or, trees or flowers yeah very versatile you can yeah. use them in all seasons yep okay so let's move this one to dry this one i think i'm just going to keep super simple I'll just have this photo here maybe it's like it needs a frame or something around mm -hmm. it Okay, can I have the paper? Mm -hmm. This needs a border. I'll you want pop glitter, out a little bit. Glitter paper? Maybe the red glitter. Oh, that would look Because, good. yeah, it needs, it needs a pop. It needs a little pop. So that should do. I am finding the chili tape works better with mm. the glitter paper than oh. just like regular liquid glue. Okay. Um, I don't know why. Oh. I guess just like the texture of it, because it is kind of textury. Yeah. So, yeah, that could just take longer. Yeah. So just experiment with your different adhesives, whatever you have on hand. I'm actually not making that much of a mess. Wow. Like, I, all I did was those the sprays. The little, those simple sprays. And then, um, the glitter is coming from the paper, so that's not getting everywhere. Because I didn't use the other, um, loose glitter. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I am or not. We'll see. Like, I already got glitter here on my paper, so I don't know if I need that for this. Or at least for this page, I mean. I will most definitely use it on different I love the look of just a little bit of glitter here and there, mm -hmm. but I don't love that I find the it glitter. everywhere on me afterwards, and I'll yeah. find it on Ava, and <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, I think I, I, I feel like I've just gotten so used to being covered in glitter. Yeah. It doesn't phase me anymore. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it, it's, Sean still doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, something like that. And then I could include, oh, I, like mm -hmm. I could just keep it super simple like that. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that is kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Or I could include little... journaling or like or a like sticker. sticker. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, let's look at the chipboard stickers. Yeah. Little wordy sticker. Because um, we're Christmas shopping, so yeah. maybe if I'd write like Christmas shopping or have one of, one of these. This is a nice color. Oh, I like those, yeah. Just for like an added element. Something like that, maybe. Oh, that's cute. 
This has taken me five years to mail all these photos. I don't know why. <laughs> they're like, they're just small little photos. But it will take a minute. There are six photos here. Taking me a minute. Almost done. And then, yeah, I'm going to keep it kind of simple too. I might layer some paper. Mm -hmm. But I don't know because I don't want to cover up my spray either mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. And oh, like, I really like these, how that looks. Yeah. And I, I really like that paper and that spray just looks nice. I think a lot of times, like, if you can keep a page simple, yeah, just go for it. it just do it. Cause, and then work on the next page. Right. Especially when you're doing a whole little album like this. Mm -hmm. Some can be more involved and some not. Yeah. Keeps your eyes a little rust in between pages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you're flipping through. Let's see, maybe that or... Or I could have, let's say, Christmas... And then write shopping. Oh. Christmas shopping. Oh yeah. Or Christmas Christmas shopping. Yeah. Yeah. I might do that. With those wood letters too. Yeah. I don't know if Do I, I have the press? No, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, and there's also all of these stickers. <gasps> oh. Yeah. And those, some of those have foil on them. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Let me have to do some of those. Let's see. I might try these. Christmas. I'm going to just put them on really lightly. So if I don't like it, I can take it off. Mm hmm Okay, finally matted all my photos. Um, this just dried by itself. I didn't even use the dryer. And um, it looks, it's just, just a tiny bit warpy and not too bad. For being pretty thin like, paper, yeah, this and, is really nice. And once you get it in the... Oh um, yeah, in the album. In the, yeah. yeah, in the page protector. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's go in order here. Those. Hi. I think it'll look okay overlapped a tiny bit. I like that. Okay. Yes. Okay. I want this up a little bit. Oh, oh boy. I'm Except surprised. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. I was, was going to say, I'm surprised my paper's not ripping. But then it was. <laughs> this one is harder to overlap because it's getting our faces. So... Mm. I'm gonna have to do more of like a crooked overlap or something. Yeah. Something okay. like that. That's so terrible. It's a little bad. It's not terrible. Maybe I could like keep those straight. And this. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm. Whoops! Not again! <laughs> I'm surprised I got that up at all. Yeah. Usually. You're very lucky. It's just, that's where it is. <laughs> and that's where it is. Okay, so I'm going to have to like tilt that one to make sure my kids' faces are not cut off. <laughs> Christmas shopping. And there. That way I can still see my spray. I do like these little wood letters. Because yeah. on here, they look like they'll be really thick. Oh, but yeah. But they're true. so thin. True. I like that. I like it. Okay, now I'm trying to decide do I want to layer any more paper on here? Or to keep it more simple? Do like, um, I don't know. Add some green. I do like the green. Mm. Like just on my edge. Could just add like the years. Yeah. Just write the years on each. Oh, like under the photo? Yeah. Yes. Um, get that paper cutter. Mm. 
this was too short. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna make it work. Okay, there's that page. And now we'll see if my other page is dry. Christmas shopping! Cute! And this one I'm also going to keep very simple. I feel like when you have so much going on in the background, mm -hmm. keeping it simple is yeah. the way to go. And I just have these two photos. I'm a little sad. It's like they're just covering too much of this background. I love this background. I know. I, love it. I may make this photo a little smaller. No, oh, it's a weird shape. <laughs> okay, I'm making this photo a lot smaller. Okay. I'm going to do a little tearing. Just because I like that look, that white mm -hmm. edge like that. And it's just so easy to do. Hmm. Cute. Or maybe just instant texture and interest. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. You could put something else, like a sticker. Yeah, or, it's um, like it needs that third needs, thing. Yeah. I'll look at these stickers. Um, Merry Christmas, Silent Night, that might be a good one, because oh. it's like starry. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just go with Silent Night. Cute. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, or maybe the deer. It's a little random. Yeah. I feel like you need something like... Yeah. Like Silent Night? Yeah, like Silent Night. Why okay. didn't that... I don't know. Like if I went like that? Oh, that's kind of cute. Maybe pop it up more. Mm. Or put it something behind it. Or... Maybe. Maybe it's fine. Should I just... Just do it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. There we go. It's final. Final. And then on this, let's see, what would be better? Cherry tape or glue? I'm kind of thinking just wet glue. We'll try it out. Okay. <clears throat> Here, I got like a nice little border-ish kind of thing. Okay. Okay, and there we go. That's not sticking at all. But, oh, well, maybe I'll put it into the page protector. Yeah. And yeah. because that'll help, like, hold it down while it's drying. Yeah. Okay, well, there's my two pages. Wow, you're fast. Well, I spent most of my time just matting my photos. <laughs> I really like these. These are they're it's like simple, um, just like using a few of the things from the box yeah. and some quick layering. Quick layering. Okay, and is this still wet? Yeah. I'm gonna add more glue and then I'll shove it in the page, and then the page Hope will the, the page will hold it down. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna add some thicker glue. Whoa! <laughs> uh, oh, okay. I am almost done. I'm gonna glue this down, and then I will add a couple stickers. I think. If you want to see um, more ways we use this box, go to the Cherry Blog. So we're always posting examples yeah. there. Um, you can search by category the cherry box if you want to find specific cherry box things. Um, also post in our project gallery. We'd like to see what you're doing with your box. Yeah. I like having this 
some pockets so I can have oh, I know. That's additional photos. So it's nice, well, like when the album's done too, because it's a little interactive fit, but it's really nice when you're working in the album because mm -hmm. it's storage. Storage. So, yeah. Still got a long way to go on this album. Yeah. Maybe I'll finish it by Christmas. Maybe. <laughs> I think this will be a fun page to work oh, on, Oh, yeah. I like that one. You know, I was thinking this page, I could do something like how you're doing it, uh -huh. like each year of Christmas. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Well, I'll stick it in later. But, um... Isn't that cute? Mm-hmm. Simple, sweet. Christmas. Okay. All right. Well, we hope you're ex as excited about this box as we are. Yes. Um, make you sure spirit. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, and also we'd love to see what you make with yeah. these boxes. Make sure to tag yeah. us on social media mm -hmm. at a chair and top underline underscore crafts. That's what we are on Instagram, and then um, yeah, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. We're everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> we're on all You'll the find things. Us. You'll find us. We can't wait to see what you make. See All you right. next time. Bye.